Hi, we're O Flamingo. Welcome to another episode of Bird Watching. Today, we are talking about the Julie Tear Jerky cover experience. Yay! Yay! It was very scary at first because making a cover of an Eraserhead song was a really daunting task. But we were super excited to do it. We had a lot of er Eraserhead songs to choose from that were yeah. really good. We shortlisted songs. Ano ba yung mga songs? Pop Machine, tsaka Bong Chi Ho and Julie. And then we stuck with Julie. I hindi agad nag-hit sa akin yung gravity nung situation at kung gaano ka laking opportunity yung na-present sa amin. Tingin ko para, ah, okay, cover. And then, nabalikan ko yung childhood ko na nakikinig ako nung mga cover ng Eraserhead na sobrang natuwa ako. Tapos parang bigla ako naisip na, oh my God, chance na namin to. The challenge given to us was make it sound like O Flamingo. Put your own take on the song. My gosh, paano namin gagawin O Flamingo tong e-head song na to? Well, in first step, papakinggan muna namin yung song para lang ma-absorb yung essence. <laughs> yung first impulse kasi when covering a song ay babaguhin mo completely. But we didn't wanna do that kasi ang perfect kasi ng recording. <laughs> when we were like trying to arrange it and everything, we realized parang yung it was a feat to do, it's actually quite hard to cover. Sobrang fixed na ng parts ng song. Parang crafted na siya. So, it was hard to remold, I guess, in a way that you could call stylistically an O Flamingo sound. Hindi mo na namin inisip masyado, pero we played it together. Wala masyadong discussion eh. Playing it by heart, lalabas naman yung interpretation. We experimented mostly on the key changes. The original one had one key change. Ours had four. We tried doing like super different shit. Parang hindi mo naman recognize yung song. It didn't really work. We decided to also get another person, si Timothy Run, who added a lot of uh, additional synths. It gave life to the trap. We inserted references to other Eraserhead songs. Harana. What was your inspiration? Yung kanta na Harana. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> Pat, drum songwriting, how did you do it? Dog pap, dog dog pap. <laughs> While doing it, I was thinking, what would Rames do? Then I thought, what would Pat do? And then I tried to put it together. Ah, nag-add ako ng mga perks, pero meron ding perks sa original song. Na very subtle lang, you don't really hear it up front. For bass naman, I just played the chords as best as I can. Nahirapan din ako sa bass parts. Ito yung song na pinaka natagalan ako record. Hey Lord, bass ang sabit ako sa... Sa lahat. <laughs> the structure of the song was very complicated. It sounds very simple, but it's a challenge to remember. For guitar, I tried making variations on the main riff. That... If I changed it too much, it, it felt wrong. What do you think? It's like you're doing the harmony. 
I didn't try to overplay. I usually overplay, but this time I just focused on the song. Yeah. Nah, I'm actually playing the same thing over and over again. I played the riff pa ulit ulit. Mira pala niya. It's it sounds so easy, but it's hard. It'll take a while. Inhalal ko muna yung kanta, yung guitar part. Tinugtog ko lang din yung guitar part. Medyo kulang yung part. So, na, na force ako gumawa ng parts on the spot. With more confidence. I told you I'm so confident. Ito, wait. Um. <laughs> Ang hirap din na kanta yun pala. And when you listen to it, it sounds really easy. Kasi ang ganda ng groove. Wala siya masyadong break. Ang hirap. Pero fun. Fun to sing. Super sweaty guy. <laughs> Nung kinakanta ko yung song, marami akong na-realize about how Ellie sings. Yung pitch medyo mataas siya. Especially yung falsetto. May pagka-nasal yung approach. Don't back, don't turn out. Usually kasi pagkakanta ka, ito try mo mag-project ng malakas. Yung mga songs na e-heads, minsan kailangan mo siya gawin na medyo hush. I guess dun lumalabas yung pag-i-intimate ng singing ni Ellie. This song is very special because we did a lot of voices. How I did the main vocals. I did around three voices. Yung pinaka-challenge for me sa vocals, yung really high voices. And you feel a low voice. I got it. It's in my head. And Pat sang also. Pat. Out of the yard is my comfort zone. Yeah. Fun. I'm pressure because there are so many voices. And they had to use mine. Alam niyo yung weird thing, pag pinakinggan niyo yung track ng mabuti, parang maririnig niyo yung boses ko eh. Doon sa banda dulo, doon sa vocal parts. Pero wala talaga ako doon. Nung una ko siyang napakinggan, parang naisip ko parang, ha? Boses ko ba to? Tapos na narealize ko, wala naman ako nung recording. Thank you. Thank you, Odds. Thank you, everybody. I would like to thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to thank everybody for this wonderful opportunity. Hahaha. I didn't really contribute much except my time and opinion, which is enough. Because they came in the studio already pretty much knowing what they were gonna do. As usual, like say, um, si Pat um, came in recording her drum. She recorded her drums to a metronome, so she didn't need a backing track. That's how prepared they are. She does that for all songs. Tapos when it came to guitar parts and bass naman, Billy and Pop were usually um, spot on. It's really just safety takes with them. And mas matagal pa yung tawanan and kwentuhan than the actual recording. So, which is fun because, you know, you don't have to worry about the technical stuff. You just really create. Um, <laughs> and we always joke about this na parang pag si Pat yung nag-record ng drums, I never really know the sound of the song because she doesn't have a backing track. So it's always a surprise. By the time I record um, the vocals, I'm surprised at how it sounds. I like how they changed it up and made it sound like their own. Because most fans always expect them to just basically cover it and same arrangement, same shit. But they like they added different melodies and um, different you know styles into it, and another I think a section and an uh, instrumental part, or like an interlude part, which was great. Waiting for the release. Actually, we recorded this in March. Eight months of not knowing how people will feel about it. Kinabahan ako day before eh. Pero actually, inabangan ko talaga yung release. As in, pagdating ng 
sinek ko na online. I'm positive naman yung response. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first time anyone has ever covered Judy Tear Jerky. I think natuwa naman yung mga tao. People told me if they didn't know it was a cover, it would have just sounded like all the other Flamingo songs. I saw Reams last night and he told me that. My approval na from an e-head. Well, he also tweeted that he liked it. So thank you also. Listen to Old Flamingo, um, their version of Judy to your jerky. It's great. It was recorded in the studio. That's why it's great. Thank you to everyone who has streamed Judy to your jerky by us. Thank you so much. Thanks. We encourage you to stream some more and watch out for the other releases of Pop Machine in the coming weeks. Thanks guys! Julie Tear Jerky by O Flamingo! Yeah.